The Savannah College of Art and Design now owns 120 properties throughout Savannah, and some say the university has enhanced the city in so many ways, but others say that growth has come at the expense of families and businesses displaced from their communities. WSAV's Kyra Jones spoke to people who held a protest against the university this weekend. Several local groups are speaking out against SCAD, saying it's time for the private college to do its part when it comes to the growth in downtown Savannah. SCAD, pay taxes now! SCAD, pay taxes now! Members of the community came together early Sunday afternoon to bring attention to what they say are ongoing issues SCAD has failed to recognize. Uh, the SCAD Museum today is doing a special where they are conducting tours, giving like actual bus tours of the city, where they're claiming that they have a commitment and they're preserving black history and they're showing how they have shown their commitment. So um, they've actually done the exact opposite. Historian Dr. Amir Jamal Ture says the college has continued to devalue black communities, forcing families out of their homes and businesses. We see an apartment building not taken away from the elderly and the disabled. Then we see communities that once hired people who were fa had families right there. No longer can go in those communities. No longer the people that were a part of the foundation of Savannah. We are the foundation of Savannah. And we demand that the respect be accorded to those people and we look out for the least and the left out. SCAD, aware of the protests outside of its campus, says the private college has a more than 40 year history of reinvestment into the black community, and the history tour is a part of that. Dr. Ture saying, however, that is not enough. We need to see a change and tell the leaders who are complicit in this also to say no longer, no longer wiping out communities, no longer have a community re economic resegregated. And that's what it is economic resegregation. And so that needs to change right now. And that was Kyra Jones reporting. Uh, we did reach out to SCAD for a comment and the vice president of college, of the college, I should say, uh, Daryl Naylor Johnson sent us this statement. It says, SCAD faculty and staff will continue honoring our commitment to the preservation and celebration of black history and the uplifting of diverse voices. The school goes on to say SCAD is a private, not-for-profit university which reinvests money into the university for the benefit of all students.